What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Today, we are discussing virtual antennas and atmospheric tools. But first, I'd like to thank Kathy for buying me a few cups of coffee and Maddie for sending me stars on Facebook. Thanks, guys. What is happening over our heads and in our skies? Well, what I'm seeing are cloud streamers, crosshatch interference patterns, basically giant radios in the sky, a virtual antenna. This type of warfare was being used back in the 1960s by the Soviets, along with the Russian woodpecker, so called because of the noise it emitted. And if you saw my video where I took a trip to Poker Flats research facility, you can hear a very similar sound coming from their incoherent scatter array radar. So the science on this is crazy, and we're only gonna touch on the basics. Time reversed electromagnetic waves, where two radar beams cross each other 180 degrees out of phase with one another, charged over a period of time, and depending on the frequency and the power of this microwave-directed energy weapon, our electro-gravitational weapon is capable of creating true doomsday scenarios. With the ability to cause earthquakes, it travels through water, Faraday cages will do you no good, and depending on the polarity, they can produce heat or they can create a cold bomb. They even say this weapon can penetrate the earth and can generate earthquake lights and earthquakes. I'm sure most of you dedicated sky watchers have looked up and seen the lines in the sky forming a grid pattern. Well, according to Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Bearden, in 1985, this is part of the grid. And when they adjust the power and frequency, it can create large booms in the sky and other strange sounds from above. Never before have we been so close to completely destroying the world. These are true doomsday weapons. Now let's turn our attention over to these next rads. We can see pulse rings. These rings are high-frequency pulses, electromagnetic technology. And to my knowledge, there are three types of electromagnetics, classical, quantum mechanics, and scalar artificial potentials. And I believe what we're seeing are the scalar artificial potentials. Using the forces of nature, or rather manipulating the Earth's climate with dark occult technologies and occult science, the atmosphere, the ground we stand on, the oceans, and of course, solar geoengineering. These are all military weapons. We have entered into the next generation of warfare. This is the Great Reset. All right, guys, let's take a look at this news clip. What we are looking at is an atmospheric tool. These round clouds are formed by heating stratospheric aerosols, condensing parts of the long lines in the sky into what I'm calling an atmospheric lens. I have documented this process hundreds of times. Raytheon has even admitted to being able to control these clouds and communicate with these atmospheric tools. They can add or dissipate energy from these storm systems. Let's take a look at some photos I captured while in Alaska. There are many facets that go into all of this from high frequency transmitters that heat a portion of the atmosphere then they're high energy lasers cutting out a piece of that atmosphere and polishing it so that it becomes mirror-like and now they have a tool that they can control. Something we should know about this technology, in the 1960s the Soviets had proven to create viruses via electromagnetic technology. They say they can also heal illness with the same technology. What we get? Well we've been living that the last four years. There is so much more to this story, and we'll cover it in future videos. All right, my friends, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.